This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to some more Conan Exiles. So we are back here building all this goodness here and a bunch of you suggested to turn this bottom room here into a big old dining hall. So that's what we're going to do. I've already pre-built a bunch of stuff so I'm not like, you know, trying to build in the middle of doing the video or I should say trying to craft and harvest all that and stuff in the middle of the video. We can just straight up build. I may have to go you know, craft one or two things here if I think of something I didn't make on the way. But I tried to just make a variety of stuff just so we could deck out a dining hall. So I want this fireplace front and center right from the get-go. Come on, don't be dumb. Just place right, you know you want to right there. Hopefully that's against the wall. Beautiful. Right there, dead center of the dining hall. Okay, so now I made a bunch of these tables because normally what I do is I line these tables up these are these, these right here. But then I saw this and I think, yeah, that's way too big. I mean, that's awesome, but it's also way too big. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to line these up and do I want them facing? Do I want to go in this way? No, I'm going to make it go in this way. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place two. So we need to find the middle of the room and which I'm assuming is probably this. Yeah, this crack right here should be the middle, right? This one right here. Yeah, that should be, that should be the middle. So if we, we rotate that around and I got to kind of just, I got to eyeball it. We could line that up like that. And then if we line, that one up like that is that oh my god why was that so easy <laughs> that was like way easier okay so there we go table that's good i like it yeah that's that's nearly perfect i mean they're a little off center on that crack there and there but i mean yeah it's good enough okay so we'll get rid of the tables now and i got some chairs so let's drag those down here see what we got here, um, we're going to place one there. Now, there's a thing that I like to do when I'm building something like what we're doing here. A lot of people, they'll put all the chairs in like this. They'll just put them all in and they'll go down the row here and just do that. And they'll do that perfectly on both sides. And that's all fine and good. But where where have you ever seen that? like in a restaurant. This is not a restaurant. This is this is a lived in area. You know what I mean? So you don't want like you want it to look lived in. I mean, in your home, I'm sure some people out there, they always push push the chairs back in when they're done eating. My home, nah, they're just kind of jumbled all around. I mean, they're pushed in, but they're not like perfect and neat. So, we're going to put like one like that and say this person when they were done eating, they they pushed theirs in as far as they could get it. They made it all nice and pretty. And uh oh nope, it didn't didn't place. Hold on, let's try that again. So this person just pushed it in nice like that. This person, this person was like this, because they were when they got done eating, they they moved their chair over because they were talking to this fool. And this fool here, they turned theirs just a little bit like that. Like that. See? And then we can go over here and we're gonna put this one. This one's straight on because this person was like, you know, nice enough to push their chair in when they were done. This one's going to be just a little crooked, but it's going to be just a little bit. It's not perfect. I don't want any of it to be perfect. And this one too, we'll just do that like that. Now see that, that looks much more realistic and much more lived in than just having them all like perfectly straight. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I like. I like doing stuff like that when I'm doing these kind of builds. So and then we'll think, let's see, we'll have, um, we'll have a bench over here just for, you know, people kind of setting and chilling out and we can do, let's try, let's, no, that's the table that we use there. Let's try this table here. No, that is the table we use. I'm actually going to throw that out so we don't get that confused anymore. Buy table. 
Um, then we'll grab this. I mean, it's ridiculous, like how little I care about resources when you when you play on like a high gather server. Like it's just like all the wood that it cost me to make that table and stuff. Just it means nothing to me. Um, let's see, what do we want to do here? We got the woven stool. What's that look like? I just made a bunch of random stuff. Um, hmm, it's like a little tiny. What if we didn't use that as a, well, yeah, let's use it as a stool. Let's put that over here by the, the fireplace so you, you can like pull it out and set by the fire if you want. And then definitely by the fireplace, we need this cauldron. And I'm wondering, I would really like to put it in the fire, but we can't. So we're going to put it by the fire. So essentially what you do is you're making your soups. You put all your stuff in there and then there would be a hook and you hang it in the fire and you just, they just leave it by the, uh, the, the fireplace there. And then I wanted, I thought I made, I didn't. Okay. So I'm going to have to go back. I thought I made like a couple of other little like odds and end tables. Okay. I'm going to have to go make a few things and, uh, that I forgot and then we'll come back and, uh, continue to build here. Okay. So I made a bunch more random odds and ends. Now what I want to do is I want like kind of, I know I said like that they're going to cook soups and that, but I also want like kind of like a kitcheny area attached to this. So, um, we put the stove like this No, no. Let's put the stove like that against the wall. I kind of wish these pillars weren't in the way, but this will this will be fine. This will look good in here. So we'll push that against there. We'll make sure it's as close to the pillar as we, oh, I'm gonna have to go in the first person. Hold on. So let's swap over to first person so we can see better placement. Does that look like it's raised up off the ground? All right, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a little crazy. Okay, now we're just going to just, come on, give it, there we go, just a touch. I'll push it straight back and forward just a little bit. Okay, hopefully that looks good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's good there. So that's where they will prepare the food. Now let's see, these are from one of the mods that we have installed. I don't really like that. And then I have, there is a little, oh, it's already on my hot bar, Jesus fire. All right, so there's this little table here. I don't think I like that either. Yes, that's way better. Yeah, that looks more like a butcher's block style, what I was looking for. So then we'll just drop that in there like that. Let's pull it out right to there. Beautiful. Now see, like the cook can be back here cooking and then place the stuff on this table here. And I have a bunch of random stuff. I just made a bunch of this stuff. I don't know what I'm going to be able to place and what's a placeable and what's like not so we're just gonna test it all out and see what we got here um oh i also wanted to see can we place this underneath or is it gonna tell me all right let's take a step back let's drop it oh it will okay sweet oh uh, it's not gonna let me because it says it's overlapping oh it is i got it nice oh see look at that that looks great yeah i like it i like it a lot what do y'all think okay so anyway, let's um, let's put this here. Actually, do we want this here? No, let's put the stuff over here, the food over here, and then I'm going to make the table look more like uh, it's uh, after after everybody's done eating. Because there's a few random things I got here. Let's get this stuff out since we're doing decorative stuff. So we have like the iron pot, we have the mead jug tankards uh there's some coins i don't know if we can place those or not uh let's see here can we put oh we can sweet so it can look like there was a deal going on or something just some coins left there a little stack of coins and then we'll put a mug right like so they dropped the handle they were holding the handle and put it down like that nope yeah okay there you go a little lag there um then we have the the mead that was being shared that was being shared by these two people so that's going to be a little more in the middle there like that and then we'll put another mug right here i don't want to line up with that one this person this person was right-handed as well 
this person here was left-handed. You got to think about how this whole thing played out. Like you can't just build everything symmetrical and perfect. You got to think about it. You form a story in your head. And, and then when it's all said and done, like you really have this really intricate interactive scene. All right. So clear that stuff out of the inventory there. We got a few other random shenanigans as I made. So I want to see if I can stack some of this stuff. So that's a bowl. I don't want that. I want the plates. I thought I made a couple of different. Yeah, there's that wooden bowl there. Now, if I remember right, these are two different sizes. So let's take a look here. I also am not going to vote for it to turn day because I want it to be nighttime because I have some torches here and it is starting to get darker. I want to see. No, I don't want those. Where did those? Um, I did the these here. So let's drag that there. I want to see how it's going to look at nighttime. So what I'm thinking is. We can put them right like that. Like I like that. That way we're making use of the, the pillars that we have there. And um, then we will we will put one over here. Let's see, let's put that one a little higher so it's like it's not lighting somebody's head on fire when they're setting on the stool. And then this one over here will go right in the same spot. We were just touching the rope. Yeah, look at that scene. Oh, you know what we need? We need a hanging. We need something hanging above directly over the middle of the table. I didn't make one of those. I made these uh, hanging from the side. So I'm going to go grab the stuff. I'm going to make one of those or a couple of those and we'll do like a hanging right, right above it to cast a really awesome light on the table. Okay, here we go. So we should uh, we look here and we look go straight up. Should be right about there should be center place yeah yeah that looks freaking fantastic what do y'all think so far like it's not done it's got a little bit more work but uh yeah okay so let's check with the the bowls here and see if i can do what i wanted to do we have to jump up on a chair real quick so these people here um actually these two right here this was since this one's turned that way we'll put the bowl like this and then We'll see if we can stack this cheese. Oh, it's gonna let me. Nice. So they were just sharing a little bit of cheese. And then uh, this dude here needs a, uh, we need a mug right here. So this person was uh, left-handed. So we'll place that like that. Sweet. Okay. Let's see what else I made that we can place around here. Cause there's some other odds and ends, like the strawberries. Let's see how those look. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a little cheese and cheese and fruit deal going on over here. They were a little messy about it. And what else do we got? I like this um, for this kind of stuff. This this is pretty cool. Um, oh, it's just like a, a topper. The top half of a um, pineapple. I forgot what I was what it was there for a second. All right, yeah, that looks neat. I like that too. Okay, so a little fruit and cheese going on there and then we'll put this cheese over here like that's where they took the, the cut out and then we need some lighting over here so I think I'm gonna do another hanger right right above the kitchen yeah that looks good and then uh, I also had a bunch of black candles I got from where did those go right there some black candles I got from killing stuff and let's put, oh, I wanted dead center, but it's not going to let me. We'll put a little candle right there, right in the middle. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll put one over here as well. Well, it's kind of lit there. You know what? Let's put one up here just because it'll look, it'll look fancy. Yeah, there we go. I like it. It's coming together well. Um, we got a little bit more work to do. So let's see here. Let's. Let's put uh, this person, they didn't take their plate back. They left their plate there. And I need to see what other foods and stuff I can get from this RP decor mod. Let's see. What does that look like? Does it say peppermint on it? I can't really tell. So you know what? Do we want to put this? Oh, you know what? Let's put this on the floor down here. Cause he had it like he just set it on the floor and forgot about it set it down beside of his chair and then just kind of forgot yeah that looks cool um and then over here we'll make these look a little bit like uh 
some spices and stuff. So we will put, put um, let's put them right here. Just kind of together. Yeah. So we need, I need to figure out what I'm going to put across here. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to look at some more of the uh, decor stuff. Oh, we got the, these here, the iron pitcher and the decanter. So let's put, let's put the decanter here. Well, it's starting to look a little cluttered on the table. Do I want the decanter? Yeah, because they were sharing that there. We need, or do I want the pitcher? Let's put the pitcher over here. We're just going to set it in front of, well, let's just put it right in the middle. How does that look? Yeah, I like that. And then I had and another coin here and this, I found this too, a hookah. <laughs> That's so massive. Okay, so the hookah, the hookah's going on the bench. This is the hookah bench. Oh, come on. Let me place. I don't want to place it down in the bench. Oh, that sucks. I don't know if it would, I feel like it would just set between two people. Well, we'll put it on the floor. Like, like that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so and then we're going to put another coin here. Like the stack fell over just a little bit. I wonder, can I? <gasps> I can tilt them. Oh, my God. We're getting so detailed with this right now. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's so good. Okay, sweet. Let's see what else we got going on here. Now, this mug of ale here, this is the chef's. The That's the chef's mug of ale. And then I also have these here that I wanted to set. Where did they go? This and this. We're going to set these back here. This is the... Um, Looks like hops, but it's like it's listed as greens. And then we got wheat. Yeah, that's the chef uses that stuff to cook with. And then we're going to do a bookcase on this wall, right? Actually, you know what? I want to cover up the pillar and then we'll see if we can set. Oh, I can set the books on it. That's fantastic. So it's not going to be completely full. These people, they're not really readers. So we're going to put that like that. And then I'm going to, I'm actually going to set this up here. Kind of put a little more odds and ends. Like I said, they're not readers. They're not using that as a bookshelf. Then this, this is going to go right here. So you can just grab your drink of water. Oh, and I got the cutting board. So I want the cutting board. That was supposed to go here. I need to see if I can find some like meats and stuff. So put that like that. And then this, this can go down here. And then that's enough on that shelf there. We'll leave it. Vaguely empty. Um, I'm going to go look at some more of this RP decor stuff and uh, see what else we can find to put on this table here. All right. I got a bunch of other random stuff here. So first off, found this rope. I think. Oh, wait. Hold on. You know what? There was the. Where did that go? A wooden cupboard. So I want to see. Oh, that's bigger than what I was expecting it to be. Dang, uh, we could put it here to cover up this chunk of wall a little bit just to add a little more something something to this wall because it's kind of bare and I was thinking a tapestry, but you know what this might this might do the job there. Oh, I may have pushed that back a bit too far. Oh, no, you know what? It'll work. It'll work. Okay, so let's just um, we'll put the rope on there. Yep, there's some rope. And then uh, there's this. Oh no, that's a little too, a little too bougie for the kitchen. Let's uh, let's not use that. Let's work on this here. So this here, I got a bunch of random odds and ends. There's so much placeable stuff in this. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. Bacon, like like legit bacon. So we're just gonna we're gonna place some bacon here on the on the cutting board. Overlap it a little bit like the the chef just slapped it all on there. Yep little, little bacon action and then uh, you know what we'll do a couple of little tomato slices Let's see if we can angle that one a little bit. Oh, yeah, and then angle rotate around like that Yeah, like it garlic. This is going to go right here uh, I got the banana, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use the banana. I think I'm going to do some grapes. 
like that. And then we will place that like that. And that one just a hair off center like that. I like it. What do y'all think? I think we're we're about done. We're um we gotta be getting close to our wrap up time here. I got these pillows. I don't know if they're gonna look good for the scene, but I wanna I wanna check them out. Oh, and then these crates too. There's a closed crate, open crate, and then there's this, and then there's this little thing here as well. So let's see, how big are these crates? So I thought maybe we could do something like just, just outside. So we'll have like that crate there, and then closed one like that, and then can we place this on top? Uh, rotate you around. You, nope, I don't want you that way. I want you to go, yeah, yeah, yeah like that kind of like that there we go and then we have these pillars they're like sitting pillows i don't know maybe just kind of here in the corner oh uh, you can't rotate them i mean they rotate this way but they don't ang angle rotate no i don't like it they're not going to look right what we can do in this area over here though is we can place uh some crate action We'll put like that, that like that, and that. I need to get out of, yeah, I don't know why I'm still in that mode. Um, and then I want to use this basket. So this is kind of like, we'll add a little more stuff going on over here. So we're going to put the watermelon in there, and then these apples are also placeable. Now I know you're not going to see them unless you like look into it, but you all know I'm putting them there. And then I want to see if I can, will you go in there? It will set on top. Oh, almost. You will put it right there. Does that fill in a little better? Yeah, I like that. It's just kind of like, you know, a little drop off spot. Stuff just gets thrown there. And last but not least, we have this book. And I want to put, I know it says journal, but I want to put it over here like it's a cookbook. We'll just put that right there. Could be, could be personal recipes. Doesn't need to be. You could say journal on the front and still contain recipes okay peeps that's that's it let's uh let's step back here we'll get a look at it see what you all think so hopefully you like it let me know in the comments what you think got our little table going on had lots of action they had a really good night everybody went to bed i think i'm gonna do like a bedroom or something upstairs because there's a lot of bedroom stuff in this uh, decor mod and might as well make use of it. And you all seem to be enjoying it. So why not? Um, yeah, we got our table and a little cook area. I think it turned out good. I could use a little more something on the walls over here and something more on the shelves. But uh, we're well past our wrap up time for this episode. So that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my Lee Crow Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.